Hey there, everyone. This is Ocal playing and another thing. Three exits left. Uh, before we get started, I guess there's enough place. So let's say that the level today goes up. Then I guess it could go back inward. Uh, well, no, this is the town. So remember when I went through the life thing here, the yay pipe? So I don't know if you remember, but there was a um. Do I need to like redo the whole thing? There was a one up mushroom that popped up. And I was. Whoops, it is my understanding, by which I mean I was blatantly told that I had a mo This has unlocked the way to a more efficient. Um. One up process. I just need to get there, maybe. Maybe it's at the end. Dang it, really. See, there's a one up here. It popped up again, which implies that it didn't save for whatever reason. Yeah, it popped up again. Wait. This saved. Oh, pipe here. Maybe I just didn't see that pipe. I might have just missed this pipe here. Hey! Welcome to the fountain! Welcome to the life fountain! I think I just didn't see that pink pipe. Okay. LA, you can even just like chill and stay here. And uh, if somehow your Super Nintendo has a fast forward button, I don't know how, but if it does, you can just sit here and like hold it. All right. See, this is the kind of life farm you want in Pose Game World. Now it's all good, nothing matters. All right. Alright, so I mean, we saw it's a level engine level, rated 5 stars. What is it called? Can't go back. Dragon coins are here. Oh boy. So is it- I cannot hold back. I'm pressing left right now and nothing is happening. Classic gimmick. Okay. Ooh, got turrets. Classic turrets. Imagine being here and not having- uh, oh boy not having to switch palaces. And, okay, and yeah, not automated restart. See, the reason why not being able to go left is hard to me, I mean, you saw it, and I've commented about it directly. I like to fidget around a lot. I like to, like, how do you stop yourself otherwise if, like, left just does nothing? Ah! There is not right. And you? Okay. See there- no, I should not have tried to stop, I should have- Okay, you know what? I don't think that's gonna happen. Like, again, like, how do you get here without having to switch- Ugh! Oh wait, what? That's not semi-solid. I guess that's one way you can find that out. I guess one way to make this work is to not run, actually. Don't run, you you actually stop at a beat that makes sense. I wish that, you know. Huh. Yeah, see? I feel no, you're barely on screen. Alright. No! In that level, because the level is very explicitly made with that in mind. I tried to jump. I pressed the jump button, but I pressed it too late. Okay. Cool. Let's 
smashing your face against it. Again and again. And... No! Oh, no! timing there, I think. Wah! No, no, stop moving! Okay, well, this is new. I haven't encountered a new in a hot minute. Nothing is safe, so I, I don't even know how I would approach this. Alright. Oh, and of course there's turrets over there. Oh, can't. can't not have turrets filling up the air. Yeah, you you exist simply to be a bird. Oh, boy. Oh, well, unfortunately, yeah, I had the displeasure of moving forward. So. And die. I... Uh, maybe I can do that faster. Maybe you're supposed to just... Maybe you are supposed to just gun it there. I haven't tried that yet. That's just not how I play these games. But it's very possible that the reason why I've been finding this so frustrating is because I am, for, for lack of a better word, playing it wrong. Because this tier, this part works, just kind of gunning it. I wonder how my experience with this level would be if it was not for this one single dragon coin. That's just been absolutely demolishing, dem, dem, demolishing me and my morale. It's very possible that if I was not constantly dying on the process of getting that dragon coin, I'd be making a lot more progress a lot faster, and I'd be feeling very differently about this. You know, the game made it very amply clear that dragon coins are optional. They don't do anything. But... They fill a hole, and I've spent the whole game getting the. I, but I like, like, like I, I feel like maybe it's just this dragon coin is like just weirdly, disproportionately difficult, and that could be what's just ruining everything. But so this is me acknowledging that, but not doing anything about it. Nice jump. Wow, so happy. I'm so happy that I... For every, I, I just keep dying there, you know? 40 minutes of just dying on that screen. Great cocktail of emotion to be in. Nice jump. Wow! Unbelievable mastery! I do not feel myself getting any better. I am not improving with every death. I am not learning something new with every death. I just die and die and die, and sometimes I eke it out. Sometimes I make it out of that death circle. Then I just die again. All right, what if? I didn't... I, I don't get that dragon coin. 
and instead, I beat the level, I lock in the four other dragon coins, and I just get that as the finale. Sounds ridiculous. Yeah, but... Ah, oh, I'm still so mad at everything. I'm allowed to go back and get the last dragon coin separately, so I'm going to do that. I have those lingering fireballs. Yeah, I locked. See, I don't, I don't, I don't. Mm. I don't, I don't, mm. that, that's how it boils down to. See, cause like, I'm so used to having stilted movement because I can't go left, that for some reason, sometimes my brain doesn't realize that I can go right, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like my brain is not internalizing the gimmick here as, you can't go left. It's internalizing it as stilted movement, which, you know, I feel is not intended, but it's what's happening in my noggin. Because that is how it's being experienced. If the fireballs do not linger for 5,000 years, this part makes sense. Like, like you know, you wait for the flower to go and you run underneath the swamp, but, but because the fireballs are never going away, they are still in the sky, completely immobile, other than if you can perceive at the scale of aeons, you just... There's just an infinite wall of fire there in the way. It's like, okay, figure it out, idiot. I'm a, a bit too aggroed out to figure things out, idiot. I don't know. I just feel like these slow fireballs have been just such a, a thing during this entire game. Yeah, see, it's what I was thinking that one time. I think the level wants you to go. Well, I sure went. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, this time we're going left, we're not going right. I mean, fair enough, I guess. Donuts. So, okay, so let's... Let's just go, then. Take hits and just go forward and get shot in the face. <sighs> so part of me is like, I don't want new things. What? Okay. So, yeah, so you're gonna make me redo this part, which makes sense. I. Of course, okay. Well, yeah, because I'm not running. Alright, let's try and land in the red then. Try to jump, but I don't know, I guess I was too late. Then you don't jump when I land. I press jump to jump, but you just don't. Because I guess I'm pressing at the wrong spot. Are there bad corners? Is this somehow old block tools and there's just bad corners? Because this is what it's starting to feel like. But it's like, it's impossible that that's the case. But it's what it's feeling like. The fact that it keeps happening on the red switch blocks, like, I don't know, it's it's making me suspicious. That there is... shenanigans afoot. Oh. 
Okay. Personal best. I don't know what I'm seeing. Oh well, the jump there doesn't jump. That's cool. It's happening a lot. Whatever. Like, I don't, I don't know. I wasn't going fast enough and I bumped my head. I saw it! It's almost like I'm, I don't want to go too fast. Because I can't slow down. And the level is very precise. Weird. No, see, that's the thing. I feel like the level wants you to hurry and dance through the chaos. But like, at this point, like, this is just an incompatibility with me. Because that's just not how I play the Marios. I mean, that's fine. Ah, oh, really? Cool, missing a block. Man, that was a run. I'm not sure how to handle that part. I'm not gonna go here. Ugh, I barely saw a blue guy there. Making progress. And yeah, like, so, it's like I said at some point, I don't know what part of any of this is getting kept. So if some of my commentary repeat itself, that's fine. But yeah, that's why also. <laughs> um, so I commented at some point when I was still in the first half, you know. The very real distinction that I was struggling so much because I was playing the game wrong. I feel like this confirms it. Like, the re level really wants you to just be going forward and, and blasting through. And things do mostly seem to time up okay for that most of the time, but not always. No! No, I can't, I can't slow down. I can't slow down. I can't stop. I can't slow down. So if, see the thing, okay, so here's the problem with the whole just go forward and like boost through through everything and just hurry up through things. If you miss time, like if you miscalculate and you land at a place where you're just stuck or something, you're just dead. So you want to keep going and go fast, but like you, you need to know the layout of the land too. Uh, I... No, the thing is, there are sections where you want to be just going. But there are also sections where, no, you need to stop and time things out a little bit. And you, you have to tell which is which. Well, I... Okay, made that work. Yeah. Wait, how... Right. That was a mistake, probably. But I saw the opportunity that was not a real opportunity. I... happening I need to make it stop I press jump I swear it keeps happening when I'm at the edge I don't know it's like it doesn't it's like 
It's like platform edges don't but like why would that be? Is is cutting the the the, the direction like affecting the physics on that fundamental level? Because there has been instances in the past where there were very slight, very minute after effects of control related gimmicks. That had like just tiny little effects like that that were like not really expected. But they're the things that just destroy me entirely. Like, that's what it feels like. It's like if... Yeah, no. I don't... Ah. Ah. Timing changes from attempts to attempts, which is real unfortunate. Okay, this is a personal best! It's a peanut butter. No! Cannot move normally. I mean, if it's the end, it's not the end. end. Alright, shoot me. Yeah. Okay. The end is not the end, but it's not too hard. Oh, this sucks. Uh, I can. S no. One day I'll be able to keep the power up, but. Not today. Okay. Why did I do that? Use those invincibility frames, my friend. Daito. Okay, well I guess I'm not getting the power up. I went so early. Okay, there I shouldn't have jumped normally. Like, the reality is, the way the level is made, it's so unlikely in most parts if you get hurt that you'll be able to get your hit back. That is probably the ideal use of my extra hit. Okay, we're actually really close. Yeah, okay! Let's not do anything stupid. That is my request to me. So we're gonna take it real slow and do a mighty leap! <laughs> okay, 95 minutes. But that did include farming and start. I'm gonna end some farming in. Eyeball!
One last Agadon. <laughs> I'm not going back for... Nah. I'm relative... Well, okay. The reality is I haven't played this segment in a while, so... How much have I retained? Let's find out. Let's find out together. It's really not that bad at all. Just march on here. And then I accept not at all. Yeah! Done it. I should have done that so long ago. <laughs> uh, I struggled with this level. That is accurate. But I think it's because a lot of it requires you to just play in a way that I do not typically play. And I mean, yeah, that's going to happen, and that's fine. Because ultimately, what that level is, is a very intricate, beautiful dance between the player and the level. Well, you could say that every level at a certain point is that. That one is a expressively precise one. It is a difficult dance, and it's just that my my issue with it is it feels like it's this big deal valse that I have to perform in front of a very important audience. And I skip all the rehearsals, so I don't know what the steps are at all. And that's kind of like why it felt like. And I think that's I, I think the reason why I did feel some genuine uh, frustration early on, and that has mostly resolved itself, is that I got to essentially accept that, you know? Like, I accepted that what I was doing was completely wild, and, 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 you just have to go, just have to go. The projectiles are not there for you to wait after them and go in an opening. Your objective is to spot the op opening immediately and get in there. And that's very opposite to how I play, but it works. It's just that for someone who plays like me, it's just gonna get a bit longer to get there. Two exits left, but I don't know, man. That eyeball's looking a little... special. A little... significant.